I can identify and classify polynomials. What is a polynomial? It's just a, a collection of constants and variables that are uh, either added together, subtracted, or multiplied. So you'll see that over and over again. Um, basically, polynomials are broken down into broad categories. Um, one way to look at it is how many terms does a polynomial have? If we say it's a mononomial, uh, we would say it has only one term. So there's no addition or subtraction or multiplication. It's just here's one term, 7, or here's one term, 7t. Again, it doesn't really matter if it's uh, multiplying variables or if it's got exponents or doesn't have exponents or no variables. It's just sitting there all by itself. So we'd say those are mononomials. Binomials is where we look at an expression that has two terms uh, and it's joined by addition or subtraction or um, well, usually you'll just see it this way x plus y you'll see you have two different terms making up the expression or 2x this is bound together by multiplication but it's one term uh, this is the second term and it's linked through subtraction again we don't worry about what the exponents do to uh, an expression um, this is still one term, 6y to the third, or 6y cubed, uh, plus 5. So it's two terms, binomial. Trinomial, then, if you understand where this is going, is just going to be three terms, combined through addition or subtraction. We don't really care about the exponents. It's just how many terms combined through addition or subtraction. Then if you get in, into anything that is more than three terms, um, a lot of times you'll just say, hey, it's a polynomial with four, four terms, or if it's a polynomial with 20 terms, you say it's a, a polynomial with 20 terms, if you had to go in and, and classify it. Constants, if you need to remember, are just uh, numbers. So if we looked at constants, uh, 3 would be a constant, or negative 21, or 4,125. When we look at constants inside of a polynomial, let's look at it this way, uh, x plus 3. Uh, x is a variable, but 3 would be our constant. It's a, a number that's basically by itself. It's not going to be changing in that mathematical expression. Then we get to the wonderful world of degrees of polynomials. Um, Here's an example. If I looked at a uh, first degree situation, let's just say 2x squared plus 1. We know this is a binomial polynomial because it's got two different terms. We look at the terms and we say which one has the highest degree. In this case, it's got a uh, 2 on it uh, to the second power. So we know that that is a second degree polynomial. That's where you classify it by the exponents basically. Uh, another term for second degrees, we could call it quadratic. If it's raised, if the highest uh, term or the highest degree is to the second power, we would call it quadratic. Um, in the same respect, if we said a x, x cubed, um, here we go. x cubed plus y squared. Again, you look at the highest degree. This has the highest degree of 3, so we'd place it under a third degree classification. Sometimes we would call it cubic. Also, if we looked at a fourth degree, so let's look at uh, 4y to the fourth power plus uh, 3x squared plus x. You've got a lot of exponents uh, sitting here in this polynomial to the fourth power, second power, first power. Um, however, we're looking at the highest power, and that's what we classify it as. When we take a look at anything that's higher than that, um, you know, we can call it fourth degree or quartic, uh, third degree or cubic, second degree or, or quadratic. If it's anything up past that, it's just kind of like how you finish in a race. If it's to the fifth power, you call it fifth degree, sixth degree, twentieth degree. Uh, that's all it would be. If you're curious to see what a first uh, degree polynomial would look like, it would look like this. And it's because the exponent is just to the first power. So we would just say it's a first-degree polynomial. 
and that's where it would uh, be classified right there. So you've got two options. We can go through and classify it by the degree or the, the highest exponent. Or we can count up how many terms is in each polynomial, uh, mon mononomials, binomials, trinomials, or you know, <laughs> polynomial with the and you count up how many terms is there. So it's just two different ways that you can classify a polynomial, and sometimes they want you to do it both ways. So here we go. Let's go through and classify each of these by the degrees. Uh, let's see, this would be quadratic, or we could call it a second degree. Here we would call it a uh, first degree. Uh, here we would call it a uh, third degree, or you could use the term cubic. So it's a third degree polynomial. Let's skip down to this one. This would be a 22nd degree. And this would be, hmm, this is odd. I've not seen that before. I know a bunch of people are saying this would be a second degree um, polynomial or quadratic polynomial. However, it is not a polynomial. Why? Because of this. We'll take a look at that on the next slide. Um, what do we do with this one right here, though? 6x to the first, y to the first. What you do is that when you have multiple exponents in the same term, or the highest uh, degree of all your terms, is you would add them together. So x to the first plus y to the first is 2. So as a result, I would say that this term is second degree or quadratic. Now, if I wanted to go through and classify by how many um, terms were in the polynomial, this would be considered a binomial because it has two terms. This would be a, a mononomial. This would be a trinomial. Again, you're just looking to see how it's separated by uh, addition or subtraction signs. Uh, this would be a mononomial because it's not separated by any addition or subtraction. Trinomial again here. And this last one, if this was a polynomial, which it's not because you'll see that it's being divided by a variable, um, as a result we would call it a trinomial, but it's not a polynomial at all. So let's find out why. If you'll remember, um, polynomials um, can be very big or very small. However, variables as exponents, like let's just say it was um, 7x to the t power, um, that's an issue right there. We, anytime that you see an exponent as a variable, not a polynomial. Um, let's take a look at this one. How about 6x to the negative first power? Anytime that you see a negative exponent, that is not a polynomial. Why? Um, because it makes it a rational expression because we can rewrite it as 6 over x. Um, how could we make this particular fellow happy? You can move him downstairs and that's why when we saw this as soon as we see any of these characteristics like the 6 is being divided by a variable doesn't matter if it's an x or not it is not a polynomial because that makes it a rational expression. And what about if a, a variable is being dividing a number? Um, well, that's what we've seen right here. And, and, and the whole reason is, is that if we worked it in reverse, uh, how about 18x uh, to the negative second? Well, oh, I'm sorry. Let's, let's change that. How about 18x uh, squared? What happens is that we could rewrite it as... 18x to the negative second, which it violates the negative exponent policy. Um, so if you don't want to complicate it, just remember this. If you see a variable uh, represented as an exponent, not a polynomial. If you see a number being divided by uh, a variable, that's not a polynomial. And um, you just you keep your eye out for any of these situations. So if you can identify and classify polynomials uh, by their degrees 
or number of terms, then you're in good shape. Um, good luck.